Hello everyone, my name is Kid Lee and welcome to a little bit of coverage on Wildstar. If you didn't hear, they recently re released Wildstar on Steam and actually received a pretty big boost to their player base. As part of that, they ended up redoing the opening of the game yet again. This is like the third or fourth time that they've redone this. It seems to me like they can't really decide on, on how they want to do this. But since I covered the previous changes and previous versions, I thought I would go ahead and take a look at this one as well. Now, for those who have played Wildstar, you might remember that you used to create your character and then you'd go on to these beginning ships. Whether it was the Dominion or the Exiles, and you'd sort of play through the little storyline. Those ships are now completely gone, and you have what you see on screen. You have Novus or Veteran. If you select Veteran, you instantly go down to Nexus. You start out at like level 3 or 4 and you just go. For Novus, they've created a completely new experience. And that's actually what we're going to check out here in this video. And I'm also going to just very, very briefly go over, to, go, go over character creation again. The character creation is pretty much the same as it has been for about the last 6 months. So if we go Novus here... You know, this is the new character creation screen. If you haven't seen it, it actually s shows both sides and the different races. So we'll actually go Orin here. Here's your different classes. We'll go, let's say, Spell Slinger. And I, it's, it is pretty neat. I, I like when they show these little videos. It's like, here's a Spell Slinger, and here's what they can do. And it gives, like, class preview types and stuff. That's, that's pretty cool stuff. I like it when games do that. And then for this, the path... Uh, we're just going to go Soldier. And again, it shows the video on that. Pretty cool. Uh, first of all, actually, you know what? I, I guess it doesn't matter. What if we can find it? <laughs> actually, I like this one. He's like, oh, mad. He's like, it sucks. No, nah, it's all right. It's, it's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. A name. Uh, it doesn't matter because this is just a preview that we're doing here. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump right in. The Exiles, driven off their planets by the Dominion, have been desperately searching for a new homeworld while being relentlessly hunted across the stars. But in their darkest hour, they discovered the planet Nexus, the fabled homeworld of the Elden who disappeared from the galaxy long ago. Exhausted, but full this video is the same. This video's the been around for a while. Prepared their ancient starships for one final journey to Nexus, and that is where their true adventure begins. Load on in here. Take a look at her, kid. She's beautiful, ain't she? That's our new home. Nexus. My name's Dorian Walker. Yeah, that Dorian Walker. The one who discovered this place. The Exiles need your help, kid. Nexus may be exciting, but it's full of mystery, too. And that's where you come in. I've got no shoes. This simulation's designed to get you ready for your big adventure before you wake up from cryo and head planet side. I'll tag along to show you the ropes. Ready? <laughs> Let's have some fun. How about we get you geared up and ready for action? First thing I want you to do is move on to the pad in the blue circle. All right, we'll move ahead here. So, super basic MMO stuff here. Nexus is a big place, and sometimes you're going to need some help getting around. Try taking this hoverboard out. It's actually a really neat looking hoverboard. So 
So, as you can see here, they basically just created a, a, like a little island. And it just takes you through all of the, uh, the basic elements of Wildstar, so that's pretty cool. Oh, we're going to bend some rules, all right. But you guys will have to leave a comment down below. What do you think of this new experience? Ah, yes, the enemy. Vicious, savage beasts they are. I might have found Nexus, but the Dominion thinks they own the joint. There's a fight brewing, pure and simple. Don't worry, I've got guns. The Exiles have been fighting the Dominion for centuries, so you better be ready for a scrap. Why don't you start by putting some of them uh, battle beasts in the ground? Battle beasts, huh? Oh, they actually changed uh, charge shot. It's not, wait, can I can I hold it? Okay, never mind. I'm I'm just crazy. It's been a while since I played a spell slinger. The Dominion still ravaging your home world, Arborea. It's a damn shame what they're doing, but hopefully. You can make a new home on Nexus. Actually, it'd be interesting to hear what the different dialogue is for the different races. So he's actually talking about just orange stuff there. Be definitely interesting, like I said. Good job taking out those beasts, kids. Now move on up the hill toward the mine. But the, they're not dead yet. Ah, the old minefield device. Boom. Okay, now get out of the blast radius pronto. Telegraphs 101. Don't stand in the fire, guys. Great job. Now go take care of the rest of them. Another mine down. <laughs> Keep it up. Think I'm going quicker than what you're talking, buddy. Just blink through them. Now, a lot of people ask me, when I play this game, how do you do it? And I recommend a gaming mouse. I don't know how I could possibly play this game without a gaming mouse. I've got the uh, Razor Naga, which has got a five circle array on the side where your thumb is. And then I know there's another Razor that's got ten on the side. But for this game, it's just so incredibly convenient to be able to fire all of your abilities from that mouse. And then the other two, what I do is, you know, I've got my mouse on my right, which I think most people do. So what I actually do is I'll put the other two abilities on plus and minus on the keyboard. So all I have to do is reach over with my thumb and just tap them. And it's just, it works out so well for this game. So much more efficient than trying to hotkey. Because this way you can always have your left hand on the WASD for, you know, dodge rolling or moving or whatever. You just roll through them. Asteroids? That's a dirty word. Oh, you leveled up. Way to go, I am so short compared to you. 
but I can jump really high. Finding Nexus was a dream come true for me. Let's go check out housing. Now, it is actually pretty cool that they show off housing this early. Compared to, what was it, level 15 back in when this game launched? The protostar guy. Hey there, exile. Looking for your home on yes, Nexus? Yes, I am. Look no further. Your land is your business with the Protostar Modifiable Landscape Program. Build what you want, when you want, with Protostar. For money. Protostar puts on quite a show, don't they? This here is kind of like a sky plot showroom. So take a look around and see what's what. If you're there for Protostar, Most Protostar's there for wait you. to get their sky plot. But Protostar's got a sweet deal, the Jumpstart Pack. They'll let you buy it today. It includes a hoverboard, too. Think about it, Ace. Oh, I'll do it. Let's do it. Awesome. I still say that this game has got one of the best housing systems I've ever seen. It really does. So we're basically just going around looking at stuff, clicking on the Protostar guys. It's like, here's how you build things. This is a plug for a protostar. This is how you build a giant robot. You can move your decor around any way you want to. See? It can be rotated and resized until it's just how you like it. That's a nice trick. I, d I will say, it's a nice trick. Look at these fancy guys over here in their hats. It's like a band. Where's the band? Oh, there's this. Oh, they actually have like an outside dance floor. That's nice. I'm finished too, Rotostar. Profitable tidings. Time to practice word of mouth marketing. Or you know we could Please not practice marketing. Either way, it'll work. Nexus is chock full of mysteries to solve and relics to discover. This should give you some idea of what to expect. I didn't bring a coat. It's cold here. Ooh. I got nothing but respect for your skills, Hotshot. Let's finish your training, Slick. Pretty soon you'll be heading planet side. Also, double jump in this game. Love it. Every game needs double jump. But I'm not a repair person, I'm a fighter. Oh, I gotta click on this. Good to see you, Chief. I'm not your chief. Just remember, kid, this may be a simulation, but you can still feel pain. That's done it. You got a knack for this stuff, kid. We ain't finished yet, though, so answer your data cron. Data oh, crap. I missed that one or something. There we go. They make you super jump. You probably feel invincible with all that primal power under your hood. <laughs> How'd you like to take down that Elden defense cut? Not really, but okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, crap. Just because you think you're a Superman. Blink through you. Oh, that ability actually wasn't up yet. Nice telegraph. Uh, wait, what? I can kill Megatron. Now we're fine. Megatron is just, you know, doing whatever. You need to leave, and quickly! Before he turns into a gun and shoots you. Stars! <laughs> that was a close one! You done good, champ. It's about time we brought you out of cryo. Relax for a few minutes while the tech start the process. 
think things are freaking out a little bit. Hello. You're different somehow. Special. I need your help. Nexus has many secrets. And when the time is right, I will show them to you. Who are you? You okay, Slick? There was a glitch with your extraction protocol. Something weird. I wonder... I know, right? This is the departures terminal. From here, you can head down to the planet. Oh, my eyes. I've got a good feeling about you, kid. Something big is on the horizon. Dorian, I saw something weird. Hey there, Slick. That was strange, but anything can happen on Nexus. Believe me, I know better than most. Boom. Now get out there and do some damage. Hey there, Exile. Welcome to Planet Nexus. This here is about the most famous planet in the whole galaxy. Once home to the legendary Elden that I'm sure you've heard plenty about. From what we've seen so far, the whole planet's chock full of unexplored frontiers. Power There's a cave, and a ship. Technology, and a whole lot of crazy alien There's critters. There's things. And all that being said, Nexus has got its share of secrets. And one of the biggest ones is figuring out how come Yeldon ain't here, and what exactly happened to him. From what I hear, you're the kind of person who gets things done. So we're counting on you to get some answers. I was a warrior on the old world. One of the best. It's good you talk to Rhoda. She's one smart cookie. Now, it's all up to you, sport. Pick a destination and get down to Nexus. The exiles need you. I do like cookies. So, and, and when I said that the, the old ships are not there, I mean, I think you see what I mean at this point for anybody who played this before. It's basically one room. That's all you get now. It's one room. So it's like before, it's like there was the full ship and you could explore it and do all these things. Then they cut it down by half and now they've cut it down to one room. So it's like, you know, and they've changed this. It's like, where do you want to go? Everstar or your know, Northern Wilds? So it actually, it's up on these monitors now instead of going to the two different rooms like it was before. Transports crashed there en route to Thade, and we need to pull the survivors out before they freeze to death. Commander Durek will appreciate any help you care to offer. 10 4. Oh. I don't click on that. What? One of our transports crashed there en route to Thade, and we need to pull the survivors out before they freeze to death. Commander gotcha. Durek will appreciate any help you care to offer. So if you go to the northern, northern wilds, I wonder if you still crash. I guess we're gonna find out here in a second. The jumpstart pack. Hmm. Report to Commander Durek when your boots hit the ground. Need oh, you come down in a skate pod now? What? Oh man, see that's not nearly as cool as it was before. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That's just sort of a quick little look at the new sort of tutorial, the opening tutorial for the game. I mean, personally, I've got to say that I think that what they had when the game launched was better. But the issue was is people didn't want to keep doing that over and over and over again. They wanted to be able to go just right down to the planet. And that initial tutorial that launched with the game, you know, that's something they worked on for years. And then since then, like, like I said, they keep changing it. And these changed versions, they're not taking years to work on them, they're just kind of throwing them together. I mean, sure, it might take them months to do it, but they just seem like they're so thrown together. I actually wish they would go back put that original tutorial back in the game 
but immediately gave you the option to say, no, I just want to go right down to the planet and start at level three or four. That's what people always wanted from the start. So, again, I, I don't understand why they keep changing it. And, and these changed versions are not as good as the initial one that they had. So, that's my little sermon on it. But, yeah, that's the, uh, the new tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you all so much for watching. And with that being said, everybody keep playing and have fun.